Ah, uh, I wonder what time it is. Oh, that's right! It's three awesome geeks time! Or at least, time for one awesome geek. It's Wednesday. I'm Sam, welcome aboard. Uh, the question of the week is a very interesting one. It is, uh, as you might have heard Jason say, uh, we're talking about what decade we would like to live in this week. Uh, but more on that later. I'll leave you guys in suspense while I address a couple of things. Um, Jason? You sound so surprised that Pokemon is making a, making a comeback. I don't... I don't think that you're understanding the allure, the power that Pokemon has over our brains. You get to run around the world with magical critters and duel people with them. You actually, there's... You, ha you can have a fire-breathing salamander thing that is called a Charmander, which is possibly the coolest name ever. You have a fire-breathing salamander that you can sick on people, but, but it might get electrocuted by a little yellow rat. And, oh, God. It's so cool. Come on, man. You gotta, you gotta give it props. Who wants granola? I do. Mm. Oh. Only five dollars. Um, in the comments that uh, we've received, it has come to my attention that one lucky someone has never heard of Jonathan Colton. And I say lucky because that means that for you, the entire discography of Jonathan Colton is something new and exciting. Jonathan Colton, of course, uh, is the uh, master planner and master songwriter behind such songs as Code Monkey and uh, Skull Crusher Mountain. But Code Monkey uh, is what Jason has used for um, his lovely intro that I can't seem to download or edit or do anything to because my software is lazy. And, yeah, but, let's just talk about uh, Jonathan Colton for a second. He's awesome! And there's really not much else I can say about him. Uh, I've been meaning to go and download all of his, uh, or a lot of his music off of his website, but I haven't gotten around to it. I think I'll do that um, in a little while, actually. But, for those of you who have never listened to Jonathan Colton's uh Skull Crusher Mountain, I Crush Everything, um, any of that, oh, you best, you best get your learn on, and we'll meet back here, you best get your learn on, and we'll meet back here in a week, and you will tell me what you have discovered, and what you've probably discovered is that Jonathan Colton is to sex. Question of the week! What decade would you go to and live in? Um... I'm assuming that when you say what decade would I want to live in, um, then I would not be able to come back. And so that means it's kind of tough, because I really, I kind of like this decade. Um, it's working out for me pretty well. Um, uh, but, uh, and I don't want to be a copycat, but I would love to live in the uh, like, be coming of age, be a college student in the uh, late 60s and early 70s. So that was when uh, Abby Hoffman and Ken Kesey and all the all the guys were sticking it to the system and living out of uh, out of the reach of the man. And also, they were firebombing things if you were a kind of violent guy. Uh, but but there was a there was a lot of cool stuff going on, and I would um, I would want to make sure that I had my copy of Steal This Book on me. Um, or get one of the first editions. So the the sixties is it. I guess the only drawback to living through the sixties and seventies is that probably means I'd have to live through the eighties. But you know, you take the bad with the good. You uh, you work with what you got. In closing, a public service announcement from Three Awesome Geeks. If I ever find out 
that any of you guys ever drank this terrible excuse for a beer, I will find you. And I will throw bottles of Sam Adams at your face until you apologize. Until next week, this has been Sam with the Three Awesome Geeks public service announcement. Free, I'll see you on Friday. And uh, this week, I know who our weekend vlogger is going to be. But I'm not going to tell any of you. That just means that you'll have to tune back into the channel on the weekend and find out. See you all behind the veil.